We'll be going live here in just a second. Okay. Okay. Andrew, take it away. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Tim, so much for hopping on the line here on a Friday. Mm -hmm. And we're we're definitely in some interesting times, but I've got some really, really exciting news is Tim was actually in a book that we did together called The Ultimate Sales Momentum. Now, this is something that we put together along with 17 other chapters that are involved, actually, that would be 18 other chapters that are involved. And we took all the expert knowledge and experience that's out there in the industry, everything from really thinking about what you need to, um, or, or how you need to restructure your mindset in order to win, to win on sales and taking just baseline foundational strategies. Also really trying to figure out how, how, like, how do you calculate and how do you um, look at your numbers when you're trying to sell to make sure that you're really moving up the ladder. So I wanted to come on the line here with Tim today because this book is up for, up for pre-sale right now. And actually it's, it's up on Amazon just for 99 cents, but we wanted to tell everybody about it because I think it definitely in these trying times, it's great to be able to digest some really good information with a lot of really successful people that'll help you and your business get to the next level, even though we're in this pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you, Andrew. Andrew's done an incredible job of assembling some pretty extraordinary people to uh, put this book together. And I think that having a book like this is more uh, essential now than ever before, because I've always said that selling is about serving. And we all need to be good at sales because we're always trying to sell an idea to our spouse, to our kids, to our neighbors, right? And we need to be selling ourselves the idea that we're going to be okay with the massive amounts of uncertainty that everybody's experiencing because of COVID-19 right now. And having the tools and the skills, is it's not just something that you are born with. You really need to learn and grow and develop yourself. And so Andrew put together this book to make it easy. He literally gave you the cliff notes. He's like, hey, Here's this billionaire who has 30 years of experience. Can you give us some tips on what to do? You know, to, that's going to help me right now. Here's a millionaire. Here's somebody who um, maybe they don't have millions of dollars, but they've served millions of people. And so what advice would you give me? Imagine sitting down with 18 really amazing people one at a time and just being able to ask them some questions about how am I going to get through this? And if you are in sales or you are a business owner or um, you know, something like that, then what you're thinking is, how am I going to recover? Right? What am I going to do, you know, down the road? If you're not in sales, you might be thinking about how am I going to survive today? Or what am I going to do to get my kids to stop running around the house like crazy people, you know, because they are not in school anymore? And what am I going to do to, to um, sell them into um, being cooperative and being nice to one another and doing what I asked them to do? So, so selling isn't something that you know, certain people do when they're just trying to get your money. You know, that's an old, outdated, the used car salesman mentality. That's an old, outdated concept. So this book is really about giving you skills and tools that you need, uh, no matter who you are, no matter where you're at. And Andrew has, um, the book's $15, but he's doing a pre-sale campaign so that you can get it for 99 cents because, People are hanging on to their money right now. They're nervous. They're unsure. And so he made it, you know, under a buck uh, just to be able to help people to feel like this is something that I can do. I need to prepare myself now as Stephen Covey, the famous author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He said that um, one of the habits is sharpen your saw, right? Make sure that you are taking time to develop yourself right here, right now. And, uh, and we are in an opportunity where everybody's in a mandatory staycation, right? We have to stay home. And because of that, um, we have the opportunity to read a book where maybe you wouldn't have had that time before. So this is a perfect opportunity for Andrew to release this book and get these tips out into the world and to, and to basically give it away because 
you know, it costs more than a dollar to make a book. <laughs> and, uh, and so, and then to ship it to you. So he's taking a hit on this, but you know, Andrew's that kind of guy. He wants to give uh, first, give most, give as much value as possible and, uh, and share what he's learned. So thank you for putting all of this together and being the orchestrator of this, Andrew. Yeah, thank you so much, Tim. And Tim really gave a lot of very, very high value information. It's, it's really awesome because oh, not only can you get it for 99 cents, you, you, you can actually download on Kindle. And so you can access it right from your phone. Um, it's the pre-release right now, but on April the 7th, that's Tuesday, it'll be delivered right to your Amazon account. Super simple to flip through the pages. You can read everything. And I want to tell you, the book is split up. It's split up into four different sections. So, you know, sales in itself is, one could say that sales is simple, but when you have to think about it, there's a couple of different pieces. And Tim played a very, very essential part in that. Uh, for instance, I wanted to be able to run you guys through the four different sections that we have in the book. So the first section is what I like to call the cornerstone foundations. You know, think about why are you selling? Are you doing it for the right reasons? Um, you think about short-term versus long-term sales. And then on the second session is actually the superior mindset. Now, this is where Tim Shear's chapter came in. And I've actually got it bookmarked right here. Tim's chapter is your customer's inner mind. <laughs> so we want to be able to dive into the minds of our customer, not only so that we can achieve the sale, but so that we can make sure to really understand what their pain points is. So the customer gets to that desired result. It's, it's not about the money that comes into our pocket. It's about the result that the customer actually gets. And that in turn will increase your success for long-term in the future as well. So that's the day two, which Tim actually starts out that specific session section. And in day three, we go into or section three, we go into strategies and systems. And the final on the fourth day is confident awareness to be confident and aware as a sales guy or gal of everything that's going on. So this book comes with, it comes with the methodologies that each individual or expert uses, but it also comes with actionable pieces of advice. So now that you're able to digest the information and saw it will work for somebody else, what each of the individuals that contributed to the chapters they were willing to do is they gave actionable advice to the people that are reading the book to say, now that you've digested the methodology, here's the action that you're gonna to wanna to take to get the desired result. Yeah, very good, very good. That's exactly right. So Andrew broke that book down into sections so that, because a lot of times when people are trying to learn something new or develop their skills, they take too big of a chunk, right? As the old saying says, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Uh, too many people um, you know, want quick results or they wanna just get it over with and they're trying to shove that whole elephant in their face at the same time and, yeah. and it just doesn't work, <laughs> right? So you gotta take it a little bite at a time. And so he broke it down into these sections so that you can, okay, so here's step one. Here's what we need to look at, right? If we're going to do a short-term sale or if we're going to look at the lifetime value of a customer and how can we continue to serve them, you know, and, and create this value ladder that we take people up, you know, because a lot of times people in sales aren't, aren't selling something that you can buy in Walmart, right? So they're selling knowledge or they're providing some kind of specific service. And, uh, and so um, being able to be there, like if you hire a plumber or you hire a security company, right? Or you hire a, a business coach. These are people who you're probably going to want to keep in your Rolodex. And so um, when we're working with people, when, we're, when I'm working with clients, for example, I'm always figuring out what's the next thing that they need that's going to help them to continue move to, moving towards their goals. And so a lot of times people think they just need this one piece and they're good, but usually people need a lot more of the pieces. And so we create this values ladder and, uh, and take people through the journey, through the process so that they get not just what they paid for, but a whole much more value. And then of course, to do that, you have to get into people's inner minds and you've got to figure out how to communicate your value. And then of course, you've got to have, as a sales professional, you've got to have the confidence to be able to get out there every single day, to be self-motivated, self-driven, to be resilient, 
Um, you get a lot of no's in sales. You know, sometimes you're going to have people that aren't happy with you, that don't like you for whatever reason. And so that's okay. <laughs> people <laughs> might not like me because of the glare coming off of my forehead. Hey, who knows? <laughs> right? and, so, and, and so what you do is you figure out how do I keep moving forward anyway? And especially, mm-hmm. like I said, in times like we're in right now, having these skill sets is essential. I was laughing with Andrew. I said, there are moments where, you know, I want to hide under my bed and not come out when I take a look at what's happening. But then the part of me that has been trained, the part of me that wasn't, it wasn't built in. This is the part of me that has been trained, kicks in and says, no, we're going to be fine. What's the outcome that I want? How can I add more value for those that I'm taking care of? And what can we do to move forward towards that desired outcome? And so that's when your training kicks in and Andrew's book gives you the training. We love to think about everything. And Tim actually walked me through this during when we had an interview together, which was really fantastic. That Especially in times like these, we like to be able to think positive. So although some of us may be out of work, uh, maybe some of our clients aren't, aren't uh, willing to pay us anymore. Maybe people are really trying to tie, hold on tight to our funds. And that's one of the reasons why we did want to release this for 99 cents. But in these specific times are the times where the winners are really going to be able to grow. So instead of sitting down, watching Netflix, trying to binge watch your favorite TV shows, I love to be able to challenge the audience to pick up a book like this from one from the guys and gals that have really been there and done that successfully. Uh, these are billionaires and millionaires that are in this book, as well as other successful entrepreneurs. So when you can grasp onto those strategies and implement them into your own life and business, when our economy does take a turn for the better, which it will, you will be ready. You'll have, um, you know, your, your gun will be in the holster. You'll be ready, good to go, where some of the others will be trying to play catch up and you'll be the one that's going to be able to win. That is exactly right, Andrew. I hope everybody just heard that because that is exactly right. You know, a lot of people are going to take this time as an excuse to go backwards. People that were wanting to lose weight are suddenly going to be binge eating. People that wanted to quit smoking are now smoking twice as much and blaming it on coronavirus, right? People who needed to develop their scale, sales skills, are some of them are going to be saying, unfortunately, I think a lot of them are going to be saying, you know, I don't have a, I'm not selling right now. So why even bother developing myself? But then there's going to be those few who have the wisdom to realize that this is tragic as it is. There's also a silver lining. There are opportunities to be able to rise up and help others, to be able to take your life, your career, your finances, your wealth to another level. Because eventually we're going to come through on the other side. Do you want to come through on the other side, 20 pounds heavier, tired and depressed? Or do you want to come out on the other side where you look great, you feel great, you are well prepared, you've been planning and training for this, and now you're just unleashing your potential into the world? And that's really where we're at. We're at a fork in the road right now. So the question is, what are you going to do? Here's one of the most amazing things is if you're a guy or a gal who really sees this time as an opportunity, I mean, if... If you're somebody who has competitors that's nipping at your heels, um, you're always trying to fight to get to that next spot. If you got people that are just walking all over you, this is the time, this is actually, this is the time for you because you can take this time. You can read a book like this for just 99 cents. You can go out and get an online education. Um, you can watch the rest of the Tim, Tim's videos. And you know what? You're gonna come out of this way ahead of everybody else because Unfortunately, 99% of everybody else is sitting at home, um, putting on more weight, watching the TV, not doing anything, wondering if the end of the world is going to come. But when we come back out the other end, positive, you're going to be there and you're already going to be running while people are just trying to get going. They're trying to get up out of their chair. They're trying to get walking and you're going to be a, you're already going to be hundred miles an hour down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Well said, Andrew. That's exactly right. So that's why, you know, there's a lot of resources out there. And, um, but Andrew wanted to release because, because we talked about maybe not releasing the book, you know, and not getting the tools out there. And then we had this conversation that we're sharing with, with everybody and with you. Um, we had this privately. We're like, what should we do? 
And then, uh, you know, we decided that, no, we need to get these tools out. And then Andrew said, well, I'm just going to like practically give it away. I mean, I got to have some kind of money to help finance a little bit of it, even though he's going to take a hit. But, um, but he said, I'm going to just give it away for like 99 cents. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> right. That's amazing. And so, you know, there's a reason why uh, Andrew, because you can tell he's a young guy and there's a reason why he got all of these older successful people to want to um, partner with him and help him out and support him in this. And, uh, you know, so, and I'm not getting anything from this. I'm here supporting Andrew and supporting everybody else because I want you to have the tools and the strategy. So I'm not a paid, uh, you know, in celebrity endorsement. I'm doing this just because I believe in what Andrew is, is doing, what he's put together, what that book stands for. I know a lot of the people that wrote those chapters and they are good, solid people and they are smart. And they gave Andrew their best stuff. And, uh, and I did too. And so you have a real opportunity to get an advantage and, uh, and hit the ground running, as Andrew said, um, by grabbing a copy of this book and being able to have it on Kindle or being able to get it for 99 cents. I mean, come on, that's amazing, right? That's an, that's an easy yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's, you know, it's really cool. So when, when Tim and I, when we did our interview, um, I don't know, we did our interview, it, it, was, it was a little while ago. Um, just like you said, Tim, there's, whew, there, I mean, there's, there's a whole lot of costs that are associated in order to, in order to put this book together and, what, and whatnot. But when we did our interview, I remember you saying like, everything that you do inside of your business is always customer focused. Um, and, you know, I love, I love to be able to take that because when I interviewed Tim, I took that as a challenge for the ultimate sales momentum as well. And what this book, and there's actually going to be a future live event coming out as well. This is all about the, what I like to call the win, win, win. Um, oftentimes that we're in sales, they're offered often three different um, pe uh, people or companies in place. So there's always whoever is the manufacturer, or the provider, and there's always the customer. And there is more than likely, especially in this day and age, somebody who's in the middle, which we like to call a distributor. And if one person wins out of the three, it's a short-term win. If two out of, win out of the three, it's decent. If three win out of the three, this is what we like to call long-term success. And that's what I like to call the win, win, win. So when you win three times over, which is the customer, the end customer, or whoever's reading this book wins. When Tim Sure wins, um, the gentleman who's in the book, and when I win as well, the success goes on for a very long period of time. Yeah, that's exactly right. So I put in the um, in the notes below the link to Amazon for you to be able to grab your copy of the Ultimate Sales Momentum, or maybe because it's so cheap, you grab five copies and uh and give them to some of your friends people love getting books there's something special about getting a book especially a book that you weren't expecting you know to receive a gift at this time you know and uh, one of the chapters in there comes from a good friend of ours christopher voss and he talks about the ror method return on relationships and christopher is a mass uh, um, a master at being able to connect with really um, big name people just by sending gifts and being caring and, and being one of their biggest fans. And um, it's incredible the uh, videos uh, online of these celebrities, you know, talking about Christopher and how he's the best gifts, gift giver in the world. And, and so Chris talks about his secrets and his insights in this, um, in this book and, and shares them with you, which is pretty extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so when you grab a book like this and you mail it to somebody and uh, they get an unexpected gift, it means so much to them. Because even though we are into physical distancing, we need to really strengthen our social connections and our, our social um, relationships, right? And so sending a gift to somebody, sending them a copy of, of this uh, Sales Momentum book um, is awesome. You know, I'm grabbing a bunch of copies and, and mailing them to my friends because, uh, you know, I want to walk the talk and I want to send people things that and let them know that I'm thinking about them. And, and uh, people really appreciate that. And, you know, the law of reciprocity uh, says that, you know, when you put value out into the world, it's going to come back to you. Others are going to want to help you out as well, because you help them out without any strings attached, without any expectations. 
And, um, and so when you have that kind of emotional collateral, you know, where you have a bunch of people that want to take care of you because you thought of them, you were thoughtful uh, and you cared about them, then, you know, that's, that's when uh, what Zig Ziglar once said, my buddy Zig, I love Zig Ziglar. He's me and Zig, right? <laughs> and so, awesome. yeah. I and that photo, that's great. Yeah. And, and Zig and I, you know, he, he always said that you can't get yourself to the top. You have to keep serving and helping and caring about enough other people and they will put you on their shoulders and carry you wherever you want to go. Right. And so, you know, I've lived by that, that philosophy. And, um, and so this is just another clever, creative, meaningful, and cheap or inexpensive way because Andrew's pretty much given this away. Um, but it's, it's a very cost effective way to make those deposits into people that you care about. Yep. Yeah. And for, so for, for what we're doing here is the, like the Kindle version is, is being sold for 99 cents. And then the physical version will be, will be a little bit more. Yes. So, all right. So in that situation, um, you know, the, the, how do I want to say this? Everybody's the, got a telephone. Yeah. This, the sentiment still applies, right? So, it doesn't matter how much the book costs because at the end of the day, you can afford 15 bucks. You can read the book. You can take the notes. Then you can put an inscription about, hey, this book really helped me and then send it to one of your friends, right? Yeah. Or you can put a little post-it note, put it on the book, stick it in the mail and say, this book really helped me a lot. Read it and then send it to one of your friends. Mm -hmm. And maybe put your name in the back of the book. Tell your friend to put the name in the back of their book too. Now you got both your names in the back of that book. Read it, take your notes, send it to somebody else. It'd be really fun to end up with a book that has 20 names of these amazing people in there. And then think about all the people that you're helping and serving just because you're you know, passing it forward. So there's lots of things that you can do. I'm still buying a bunch of copies because I have a lot of different friends that I want to talk to. You know, I have a lot of friends in the speaking business. You know, we all had keynotes. That's what we lived on was the money that we would get from group gatherings. <laughs> yeah, which... And they're all canceled now. <laughs> all my keynotes so far, you know, except for I don't know what's going to happen in October, but everything so far has been moved to next year. So, oh, wow, you know, that's get a, quite, quite a while. Yeah, that's a whole year of, of not having any income from that. And so I'm going to be sending my friends a copy of this book just to help them to stay inspired and motivated as well. So whether you do Kindle, you do the um, hard copy, whatever it is, it's a really awesome opportunity for you to do something good for yourself and then do something that's fun and helpful for those that you care about. How fantastic would that be to, to get a book and to read something like this? to put a little bit, little note in the back and say, Hey, you know what? Send this to your buddy. I, I got this at a chapter, at a chapter seven, Tim Shue's chapter. And you know what it did for me and my business is X, Y, Z, and then send it off to them and see if you can help inspire somebody else. Because if you take, if you take even like a half a lesson that's in this book, it could literally change your life and your business. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I encourage everybody to grab that link and go check it out, right? You'll be glad you did. And then um, make sure that you follow Andrew and uh, or myself and, and connect with him on social media because you'll be able to check out all the other things that he's doing. Um, Andrew's a whiz when it comes to promotion and sharing his message. And, uh, and so um, he's got a lot of fun, exciting things coming up in the future, and you're going to want to know about it. So, of course, I'll be letting you know about it as well. But, Andrew, I really appreciate you doing all of this. And uh, together, you know, we're, you're real close. You're like a few copies away from being number one bestseller. So if anybody was going to get this, whether your Kindle version or your um, hard copy, today is the day. If you could do it today, that would be awesome because that would get us. It could be your... Uh, order that pushes this book to number one and then you'll be a part of that right and that's pretty awesome so if you're going to do it do honor. it today yep. yeah thanks so much tim and when you guys get your book be sure to read tim's chapter because it is it is truly truly some of the best stuff that i've ever heard and my sales career hasn't been quite as long it's only been about a little over a decade but it is the one of the best things that i've ever heard in my whole decade of sales Thank you, Andrew. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.
Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, Tim. Thank you.